My educational background um, consists of four years, no, five years of undergraduate um, college experience as well as a year of graduate experience. So for undergraduate, I went to actually two schools. I went to Clark Atlanta University, which is a historically black college in Atlanta. And I went to Georgia Tech, um, which is a larger, more well-known uh, technical university in Atlanta. And I actually chose to go to school in Atlanta, starting at an HBCU, historically black college, um, because growing up in, in Oakland, like, I, I saw professionals, but not too many of them looked like me. And I, and I, I felt like um, I, wanted to, I wanted to see, I wanted to feel what it was like to be around people who were African-Americans who not only were successful, but were active in their communities to make sure that the, the generations that come behind them were also successful. So when I first moved to Atlanta, surprisingly, I had a culture shock. I mean, I, you know, I'd heard that Atlanta was this thriving place where um, African Americans, you know, had multitude of opportunities, and it is. But for someone who's born and raised in the Bay Area and is, is used to seeing a very diverse group of people, it was, I, it was different for me. Um, but it was refreshing as well. And so it was, it was great to sort of start college in a nurturing environment because that I think is one of the, the components that you can get from going to an HBCU is being surrounded by people who want to see you succeed. And sometimes we we'll may cross the boundary with parent versus teacher kind of uh, relationship, but at the same time, it all comes from a loving place. So it was nice to kind of get through some of those um, challenging, really challenging classes like physics and chemistry and the math sequence, which in a lot of ways weeds students out. You know, when you're in a classroom of like 200 students and you've got like two TAs and you, you, you barely ever have an opportunity to speak with your professor, sometimes that can be very intimidating for an engineering student to start out that way. So it was good to start at a smaller private school. And then, so I went there for three years and then went on to um, Georgia Tech, which, which was definitely a different sort of experience. But I also gained, um, I also gained uh, a better understanding of what it's like to, to work with people, to collaborate in groups who don't look like me, who draw from a different sort of family background. Because actually, even in the HBCUs, even though if, a lot of the students look like me. We were all from different parts of the country, different parts of the world with different personalities, different sort of upbringings. So all in all, my undergraduate experience was this huge collective of experiences and, and I, I would not have done it any other way. Graduate school was, um, was a different sort of experience because I, I went to graduate school after I worked for three years and, and I went to, to Cal for graduate school and the funny thing is, aside from really getting a great education, I met people who came, who decided to come to Cal, not only for the, the academic experience, but just to be in the Bay Area, just to be surrounded by mountains and to do all these really fun outdoor activities. And the funny thing was that even though I had grown up in the Bay Area, I didn't really know California at all in terms of like the the, the geographical like outdoor activities to engage in. So yeah, sure, you know, I, I, I learned a ton, but the people that I met, they sort of opened my eyes to all of these experiences with regards to travel that I had never even really thought to, to consider. Um, and I mean, I think that's why it's really important when you are building relationships to, to sort of step out of your comfort zone um, because the people you meet can, can give you access to a world that you, that no not that you haven't even dreamt of, you know that you haven't been exposed to, you know, and that that's kind of one of the things that, um, you know, that that I've, I've, my heart throbs for when I see kids 
in certain communities in in anywhere, but in, in Oakland and, and knowing that they've not seen anything outside of, you know, 10 blocks, you know, that they've never traveled, you know, that they, they don't even, they've never been to the beach in San Francisco, you know, that they've, that they, they've never seen a redwood tree or they've never seen a redwood forest, you know? And I think, I think it's important that, you know, as, as you experience life and, and as you matriculate in an academic sort of way, that you also matriculate in a, in a cultural way and you learn to, to immerse yourself um, in a way that will help you to be a better person overall.